Ionic and covalent compounds. Ionic bonding. This is when electrons from the metals are transferred to the nonmetals. Now both outer shells are full. This causes metals to be positive ions called cations and nonmetals to be negative ions called anions. The positive and negative ions become strongly attracted to each other resulted in several properties. One is a crystal lattice. They have alternating positive and negative ions. A second is they are good conductors of electricity when in a water solution. They also have high melting and boiling points. Lastly, they are soluble in water. Covalent bonding. This is when electrons are shared between each other, so their outer shells are complete. Here, the chlorine on the left now has eight. The chlorine on the right now has eight. This happens between two nonmetals. Here are some properties. They have a weak attraction resulting in weak bonds. They are poor conductors of electricity when in a water solution. They have low melting and boiling points. And most of them are insoluble in water. Thank you for visiting Adventures in iSTEM.